This is a personal video from Melissa. You were right. You moved the decimal place over two spaces to get rid of that decimal point. And because we move it over two spaces here, we have to move it over two spaces here. So you have 24,300. So you were on the right track. So what we did was we asked ourselves how many times could this 225 fit into 243. It can't fit into 2, it can't fit into 24, but it can fit into 243 one time. And 225 times 1 is 225. Now when I teach other people how to do long division, I tell them to go like this and put an X there to remind yourself that you're multiplying this whole thing. And 1 times 225 is 225. We do our subtraction, we get 18, and now it's the zero's turn to come down. 225 can't go into 180. It goes in zero times. That's when we put the zero above the zero that we drop down. Then we do zero times 225, and we get zero. We get 180 again when we subtract 0 from it, and now it's this zero's turn to come down. 225 goes into 1,800 eight times, like you found out, and that's going to give us a zero remainder, and we put the 8 up here, and our answer, our quotient, is 108 remainder 0. Now, we didn't have to do this part here. We could kind of shortcut it. If your teacher wants you to show all your work, then you're going to have to do this to show that you multiplied 0 times 225. We could have just done this. We could have dropped the 0 and said 225 can't go into 180 and then just dropped the other 0 and just cut it short. So if you're at work and you're trying to figure this out because you're trying to figure out something, you know, for math, at your job or something, you can just do it real short and quick like this, but your teacher probably wants you to spell it all out. So now I'm going to show you again. We've got this problem. 8 goes into 24. It can't go into 2, but it can go into 24 three times evenly. Well, that's going to give us a 0, and now it's the 3's turn to come down, isn't it? 8 cannot go into 3. It goes in 0 times. So whenever you're doing this and you're saying, this number, this divisor, fits into the dividend, say to yourself, how many times will it fit into that one? Zero. It fits in zero times. So we're going to put a zero above the three that we dropped down because it fits in zero times. And zero times eight is zero. We do our subtraction, and the three comes down, and now it's the two's turn to come down. Eight can go into 32 four times evenly. That's going to give us a zero again. We drop down our one. How many times can 8 fit into 1? Zero times. 8 times 0 is 0. We do it again, and we drop down our 1 from our subtraction, and now it's the 6's turn to come down. 8 goes into 16 two times, and because we drop down the 6 here, that's where the 2 goes, and 8 times 2 is 16. We do our subtraction, and we get a 0 again. Now it's the 4's turn to come down. How many times can 8 fit into 4? Zero times. So we do the 8 times 0, we get a 0 again. Now we drop down the 0, and we get a 40. 8 fits into 40 five times. So whenever you get to that point where it can't fit in, that's where the 0 comes in. See? So I hope this was helpful, and keep up the good work. You were on the right track, okay? I'm proud of you for trying. Bye.